Hey everyone! Today's video is about remembering a shooting legend, the shooting star, Tom Knapp. In 2013, Mr. Knapp passed away, and that is a loss that the shooting world and his fans are still mourning. Now for this video, I'm going to take a quick look at his life, and then we'll look specifically at three of our recent acquisitions that are firearms he used throughout his career. Now before I go into talking about his absolutely phenomenal career, I want to talk about something that makes Tom Knapp human to those of us who admire him. And that is, at the age of nine, he, in 1959, he received his first firearm, which is a Daisy Model 25 air rifle. Now you might be thinking, okay, a lot of us get air rifles. Why is this something that is important? And the reason being is that throughout his entire career, he cherished this artifact so much that when we installed a display in his honor at the Cody Firearms Museum in the early 2000s, he insisted that his Daisy Air Rifle be featured central in that display. Sometimes it's these simple things that really truly show you how great of a person these legends are. Now let's fast forward from 1959 to 1987 where Tom Knapp performed for the first time as the shooting star. He would then go on to perform more than a hundred exhibitions a year. And in 1991, ESPN took notice of one of those exhibitions and broadcast him for a live audience, and his legend was set. By 1993, he was affiliated with Benelli USA, and it was with Benelli that he set two world records. In 1993, he set a record with the Benelli M1 semi-automatic shotgun, and that was by breaking nine hand-thrown clay targets with that M1. He then went on to break his own record in 2004 by breaking 10 hand-thrown clay targets with his Benelli M2. In 2005, we were honored to host him at the Cody Firearms Museum and Cody Shooting Complex for two of his shooting exhibitions. And it was at that time that we started the display that features his Daisy Air Rifle, his Benelli M2, his Benelli M1 Super 90, and his Benelli Nova. Now, due to health concerns, Tom Knapp could no longer continue with Benelli in the 2000s, and by 2010, he was affiliated with CZ. And it's CZ that is represented with these firearms. The first firearm is a CZ ZK Bruno ZKM 611, and this is in 22 Winchester Mag Rimfire, and as you can see, his name is engraved on the receiver. Now, this firearm was used by Knapp prior to his official affiliation with the CZ company. The second firearm that we have for display is the CZ Model 912 semi-automatic shotgun in 12 gauge. Now this firearm was used so frequently by Knapp that they actually came out with a Tom Knapp edition in 2012. And the final firearm from CZ that we have is the CZ Model 712 semi-automatic shotgun in 12 gauge. And this has, as you can see, an extended magazine. Now this firearm is truly iconic because if you've seen any of his videos on the CZ website where he's dove hunting in Argentina, this firearm, because of its magazine, was made specifically for that purpose. Now as these are sitting in my office right now, obviously they're not available to the public. But I want you to know that we are working tirelessly to get them on display. We have completed the labels and the mounts are being made as I speak so that we can get this, these guns on display in the coming months so that we can round out our Tom Knapp exhibit with his full career. We're hoping to get these on display because at the Cody Firearms Museum, the story of the people who lived are really important, and Tom Knapp's story is truly extraordinary. And we hope that we can just be a small part of what helps to keep his legend alive. 